Hi, this is John again, the owner and developer of VectorDex. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the VectorDex tool sets into Mac's OS Snow Leopard operating system. Within 24 hours of purchasing VectorDex, you'll receive an email that will contain your download link along with an access key to access or open up that download and your VectorDex serial number. I also attached an image with this file showing you the process in, involved in um, entering your serial number. So if you'd like to print that out and, it'll, and have it available to you when, when you're prompt for that, uh, that information. But I'll show you this process right here in the tutorial. Now let's go ahead and click on that download link. This is going to place that download into your download folder. Once it's downloaded, it may or may not appear on your desktop automatically. If you don't see that, then go ahead and go to your downloads folder. Uh, select on that uh, VectorDAX download and click on it. Now, somewhere along the line here, you may see a pop-up that will request your access key. Um, it'll either be at this stage or the next stage of the download. But if it does, then go back to your email, and this is the access key. You'll see it. It'll be in that uh, email. that You'll need to enter in order to, to actually open up this particular disk image. So um, be prepared for that particular alert. Um, now you're um, going to be presented first with the license agreement. You know, go ahead and review it and click Agree to continue. Um, it'll take just a little bit to download because it's a slightly large file. Now you'll see this disk image, and it's going to show you the three very important uh, VectorDex uh, plugin files. I'm going to close out of um, Safari here, so I have a little better vision of the, this particular disk image. This also shows the file path that you'll have to navigate to insert these particular files. Uh, VectorWorks requires these files to be in certain folders in order for you to have access uh, to the plugins and have them work properly. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and follow the, these particular paths. The first thing you need to do is uh, go to your home folder and you can find that in the go and select home. And the next would be the library and then the application support. And then you'll scroll down in, uh, to the VectorWorks folder. Go ahead and open that. And then double click on that 2013. And as you notice here on the disk image, all three files navigate to that particular 2013 folder. So we can keep this particular um, folder open over here. So let's first drag over the uh, VectorDex plugins. It needs to be placed in uh, the plugins folder over, over in this uh, window. So I'll go ahead and select it and drag it over and, and insert it into that plugins folder. And the next is going to be the particular VectorDex uh, workspace that you ordered. Um, this one being architect, but you may have had designer or landmark. And it needs, as shown here, it needs to go over to that vector workspaces folder. And the last would be the VectorDex template. Now, it needs to navigate a little bit farther. Um, as shown here, we need to open up uh, the Libraries folder, and then the Faults, and then uh, scroll down until you'll see uh, the templates. So I'm going to go ahead and select uh, the templates and come over here and insert it in that templates folder. It, that'll take a little longer to install because it has all the necessary textures and symbols and all the different objects you need. Um, to work with um, the VectorDex tool sets. And the last thing um, you should do is, is go ahead and drag this PDF file, which is, gives you a brief uh, tutorial um, about the, the use of the VectorDex tool sets. So I'm just going to take this and drop it over onto my desktop. That pretty much uh, completes the actual installation process. So uh, we can go ahead and close out of these windows. 
Now we want to go ahead and open up your Vectordex application. If you already had it open, you need to close it and reopen it to be able to have access to the tool sets and everything we just installed. Vectorworks will open up to the last workspace and environment that you are working in, um, which will not show any of the tool sets that we just installed. What we need to do here to have access to them is go ahead and go to the top menu and over and just click on tools and go ahead and select uh, workspaces at the bottom. Here's where you'll see that Vectordex workspace that we had installed previously. Uh, yours may be different, designer or landmark, but go ahead and select that. Um, this will bring the workspace that we installed and you should see all the tool sets over here on, on the, the, under the uh, tool sets palette. If you don't, if it um, by default has any of the Vectorworks tool sets selected, uh, just look and find the uh, little uh, sun deck icon and click on it. It'll bring all the tool sets to the top. You'll also see this uh, Vectordex menu option here at the top bar. The next thing we need to do to actually have access to these particular tools is insert that Vectordex serial number. Uh, if you clicked on any of these to use them, you'll get an alert that you first need to insert that serial number. And uh, what we need to do here is go ahead and select the Vectordex option on that menu bar and click on Vectordex Info. This panel will pop up and it shows uh, uh, where you'll insert your Vectordex serial number. Currently you have uh, no serial number and needs a serial number. Go ahead and click on this to edit that uh, field. I'm going to go ahead and select all that no serial number text. And then go back to your email that I sent. And in there you'll see the whole entire serial number as you need to enter it in that particular field. The easiest way to do this is to just go ahead and copy that. It's important though not to copy any spaces before or after um, that last digit. And then you can come back over here and paste it in. If you inadvertently you copy the space before or after, uh, it'll alert you that you have too many digits and it won't appear that way. I'll show you an example. I'm going to click OK and it's telling me that um, you have too many digits. You only need 27 and when you go back it may look fine but you actually have that little space. So it's very important not to have any spaces before or after that um, last digit. Now you can go ahead and click OK. If you did everything correctly and if you gave the necessary um, Vectorworks six-digit serial number, everything should work properly. Um, to go ahead and see if it does, you can go ahead and select that uh, Dex Info again. And now you'll see you have the full version. That's the version number that I sent you. And your actual Vectordex serial number will appear here. Um, it's that simple. Now you're ready to go ahead and use all the tool sets um, without any restrictions. Um, I encourage you, though, from this point to go ahead and go back to our website and go through the tutorials um, that will help you understand and, and uh, learn much quicker how all the tool sets are being used. Thank you.